Mario Tatino is known for capturing some of the world's sexiest photos. His images of models and celebrities appear in Vanity Fair and Vogue. He's also worked for Gucci and Versace. Anthony Mason shows us how Tatino is taking his lens in different directions. Anthony, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. The Peruvian-born photographer is perhaps best known for his work with women. But the subject of his new book, Sir, is men. There is one man he won't photograph, though, himself. I think that I hide behind my photography a lot. I'm not so interested in uh, people knowing about me. If you're hiding, why do you think you're hiding? I don't know. You know, a lot of photographers do self-portraits. I find that the most boring thing there is. You can effectively put yourself in a picture without putting yourself there. Of course, that's what I do. One of the world's most celebrated fashion and celebrity photographers, Mario Testino has shifted his focus from women to men in his 15th book, featuring images of Brad Pitt and Karl Lagerfeld, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. How do you make a moment like this happen? I guess I perform a lot. You know, part of being a photographer is you have to be a performer. You have to, you know, to create a reaction because if not, they just stand there. How did this happen? It's Taylor Lautner, and I asked him if he could do flips. Just to, <laughs> hey, by the way, they were so worried about the car. <laughs> he provoked this shot of Orlando Bloom kissing David Beckham. Because, you know, two guys like that at a party, it's a bit boring. Everybody can get that picture. So I was like, go ahead and give each other a kiss. And Orlando just went. Behind the lens, he can be most persuasive. I mean, I'm often told, you're not going to ask me to get naked, but then they're naked. How does that happen? I know. <laughs> that can be a problem flipping through his book. Oops. Maybe we don't go there. <laughs> so let's just turn the page. <laughs> Two women changed the course of Testino's career. First, Madonna, who picked him to shoot a Versace ad in 1995. He put the ad on Vanity Fair and the first page read, Versace presents Madonna by Testino. So she was quite key. And then, of course, Princess Diana was like, you know, I mean, all of a sudden, I existed. I, it was like somebody turned the light on. You do somebody like Madonna or Diana, all of a sudden, you're asking me to do an interview. Yeah. You know, it's like... Everything changed. Everything changes, yeah. He's still in favor with the royal family. He shot the official engagement photographs of William and Kate. One of Testino's favorite subjects in the new book is David Bowie. I'm not a person that has many um, heroes, or, but if I admire somebody, probably it was him more than anybody, yeah. just because of the guts. You know, the, but the guts. I guess it was amazing what he did, really, how he changed himself, how he reinvented himself. Mm -hmm. We are photographers, or anybody in the creative business, we're in a reinventing world, you know? If mm -hmm. we don't change, we're dead. Now the 60-year-old photographer is performing another act of reinvention. I'm on Instagram. I started this thing called the Towel Series. It's a way of undressing people, but still keeping them dressed. Do you like the instantaneousness of it, that you can just put something up there right away and it gets a reaction? Yeah, I love it. I love the, the fact that a medium like that exists, that people, everybody's a photographer. That and doesn't bother you that everybody's a photographer? At all, because when you, you know, everybody dances, but when you go and dance, you know who can dance better than the others. Photography is the same. Everybody's a photographer, but they understand now how difficult it is to do a good picture. So you admire more those who do a good picture. Not bad. Wow, Anthony. <laughs> that's, very, that's really that's, a very good answer. Yeah, it's really good. Everybody's a dancer, but not everybody's Barishnikov. So I give, you, right. I give you a little light summer reading. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is it's a, beautifully done. It is beautifully yeah. done. It's a beast of a book. This is actually the limited edition. I think there are only 1,000 copies. It's 700 bucks. But the trade, more affordable edition comes and out later in the year. His, what do you think his genius is? Well, he just, he obviously, as you see, has a way of making people relax and, and, yeah. and do something new. Soon they're naked. Yeah, careful. He's genius. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony You're thanks. watching CBS.